And you thought your brother was special. Astronaut twin brothers Mark and Scott Kelly have been worlds apart. And now it appears all the time in space apparently melted Scott Kelly's DNA. So what does this mean for the future of long-term space travel? Scott, he's the one there on the left, obviously, was sent to, lo to live in orbit for nearly a year while his brother Mark on the right stayed grounded here on the planet Earth. It was the perfect situation to study the effects of space because they are identical. And upon his return, Scott was taller than Mark. Scientists now say his DNA has changed as well, so could space travel be the best way to combat the aging process or are future spacemen doomed to die a slow death? Here to discuss, it's theoretical physicist Dr. Michio Kaku. Welcome back, Dr. Kaku. Glad to be on the show. So uh, let's talk about this, some interesting stuff. That's um, right. So Scott Kelly was taller, at least for a little while, because his spine had decompressed in microgravity. That's right. Now, for you Mars buffs who want to go to Mars after 2030, yeah. there's good news. 13 and, years away. And some bad news about going to Mars. Okay, okay first of all, uh, Scott it was two inches taller after going into outer space. And by the way, when you go to bed at night, your spinal cord also decompresses slightly, and you're actually taller at night than you are during the day. Interesting. So he grew two inches, but after he came back to Earth, gravity compressed his spinal cord in the vertebrae, and he went back to normal again. Oh. So that effect is temporary. But you can grow up to three inches being weightless and out of space. Yeah, tell Peter Brady that. He would have been there uh, very first. Um, the telomeres were also longer. It's the opposite of what scientists thought. And those are the caps at the end of chromosomes that have to do with the aging process, correct? That's right. Every textbook says premature aging is one of the side effects of being up and out of space. However... And that would mean shortened telomeres, right? That's right, because the telomeres are like a clock. Mm -hmm. They get shorter every time they divide. Mm -hmm. However, his telomeres got longer. Longer, and people were saying, oh my God, I mean, is that the fountain of youth going yeah. into outer space? However, it was a temporary effect. Damn. And you also have to realize that cancer cells also can stop the telomeres, mm. and that's why cancer cells are immortal. Cancer cells are immortal because they've stopped the clock. The telomeres don't get s shorter. They have something called telomerase, which stops the clock. And that's why cancer cells live forever, and that's why they kill you. Oh, okay? interesting. Now, speaking of cancer, there's also uh, radiation, which can damage the retinas and potentially the brain. And also, you know, being in space for that long can hasten the growth of certain cancers. That's right. So the good news is that the effects of radiation were not as bad as we thought. Mm -hmm. However, the bad news came out last October when they took mice, hit them with cosmic rays, like from you get from out of space and the mice began to get very anxious and suffer from a certain amount of brain damage and so yes we're gonna have to shield our astronauts if they go to Mars yeah. otherwise they're gonna get fearful and start to freak out as they go to the red planet so was this experiment really designed to see how our astronauts are going to uh, comport themselves that's on right that two remember he journey. was in space only for about 340 days yeah. our astronauts are going to be going to Mars for a two-year mission seven to eight months to get to Mars a few Two months to do a scientific experiments yeah. and another seven to eight months to go back to the planet Earth. That's two years in outer space with lots of cosmic radiation. And that's why we're going to have to do extra shielding to protect our astronauts. When you take a transatlantic flight from New York to L.A., mm -hmm. you get like a, like a, a dental x-ray's worth of radiation, about oh. a millirem per hour, Bummer. just by going uh, across the United States. Yeah. Imagine being going to Mars when you don't have the atmosphere of the Earth to you protect you. You can just you. watch that Matt Damon movie. Did you see Mission to Mars? Uh, I saw Matt Damon in the movie The Martian, yeah. yeah. It was actually oh, that's quite the realistic. one. It was The Martian. That's yeah, right. remember when he died? at the end? Uh, well, he didn't die at the end. He, he oh. survived. It had a happy ending oh. after all. Did it? Oh, I got yeah. it all wrong. Dr. Kaku, thank you for being here. I yeah. love your expertise in your brain. Thank you. You are a, a wellspring of knowledge, and I appreciate bathing in your glory every time. <laughs> Very good.